with CSS, we can customize the look and feel of our uh, application. In this particular example, uh, we have some selectors to change the colors of the text. Uh, the first one, this is referring to an element with ID first name. The second one is referring to an element or more than one element, technically speaking as well, uh, referring to the class, or class name according to React syntax. And the last element refers to a semantic tag. Semantic, semantic tags are a new thing in HTML5 where we can, instead of using the classic div, labels, spans, and so on, we can use, you know, different kind of uh, tags to improve the uh, readability of our application. So we got some code already in place, uh, but now we want to match, we want to change the colors. So in other words, Peter should be in green color. So we should add an ID called first name. Let's do that. So label ID first name. And as soon as we do that, you can see how the color immediately becomes green. Pretty much the same thing with the last name. Remember to set class name instead of class, because if you set the standard class key, React will complain. And finally, finally, according to our CSS, instead of having a label to describe the best movies of this particular director, we should use a semantic tag movies. And you can see again, as soon as we change it, the list of films becomes uh, change, the, change the color. We got a warning in the console, the tag movies isn't recognized in the browser, but that's fine because that's an acceptable situation, right? So React is, is a warning, it's not even an error, right? If you want to render a React component, we should capitalize, we should change the lower M with capital M, but that's not what we want. In this particular case, we don't want to, 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 to bind uh, our app component with any other component. We want to keep it simple, that's why uh, movies, all in lower cases, is a completely valid expression in both HTML and JSX.